Hey, this is Brian, and uh, I am going to chat about some whiteboard mojo I have. This video is for Mark, inspired by Mark, anyway. Uh, so here we are in um, the PNTV studio backstage. This is where I sit. Hello, this is Brian. Welcome to Philosopher's Notes TV. <laughs> Pretty funny. Uh, so I've got the next ones I'm gonna do. I've got the old school classics I'm excited to rock. I've uh, been preparing for that. So Epictetus and the Tao Te Ching, Emerson, Nietzsche, and I've got a few more in the kitchen. Those are all the books that I've done notes on. There's the computer where I produce the um, PNTV episodes, and here's the whiteboard. Uh, so what we have on this whiteboard uh, as you might know, I'm writing a book right now, so these are the chapters that I've done so far, the little mini chapters, I think 16 or 17 of them. A few of them I really, really love. Those have the extra check boxes. The other ones are pretty cool. Um, and just some reminders to myself, fun little magnets. Um, get a little better every day. I like that. It's consistency and deliberate practice and just pushing my edge a little bit and getting a little better every day, reading a lot more. Kind of fell out of that habit since I've been back in the West. Ship, this is an idea from Seth Godin's great new book, uh, Lynchpin. He's all about shipping. So get to market with your product. Get to market with your idea. Ship, 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 ship. Instead of always needing to perfect it, etc. I'm on PNTV 100, excited about that. I've got like 60 of them or 55 of them done. Going to rock all 100. But anyway, why I wanted to show you this is... Uh, one of the things I'm really a big fan of is plugging into source, right? And emotional fuel gauges and this idea that when we're plugged into source, we feel really inspired and, um, you know, we're feeling good. And when we're not, we feel like we're on empty, you know, and we're helpless and depressed and stressed and self-loathing and all those fun things. So the idea is we want to fuel, fill up our emotional fuel tank. And um, so what I did was I just created some things that some fun things I can do today to fill up my tank, right? So just a bunch of things. It started with just a list of a few things, my AM ritual that I like, and then it just expanded and expanded and expanded and expanded. And now I'm just having fun. I'm not trying to do all these every day. It's literally impossible. But these are just things that fill my emotional fuel tank that really inspire me. And um, when I find myself starting to get a little bit stressed, and going to ESPN for the 20th time a day, or even the second time, and just not quite on. These are things that um, I can do that I know feed my soul, they nourish me, they connect me to my high self, and just make me feel good. Um, they're kind of like Stephen Covey's quadrant number two things um, that really nourish us. So I wanted to share this on Mark's request. This is my list. Obviously yours will be different, but maybe you'll find some inspiration in here. Um, first thing is rising with the sun. Did that this morning. Oddly, I have not done my AM meditation yet, and it is 12.04, 12.05, so I still got to do my AM meditation, but uh, I had a wacky uh, morning this morning, so I got up really early, and then um, actually went back to bed. So rebound is the thing that I do. There's my little rebounder. Pretty fun to jump on. Um, that just makes me feel alive. I love to do that. Qigong, I've been doing that for the last, like, almost two months now. I haven't missed a day, which is really cool. Just a simple practice of three, five minutes. Um, and then I love to hike. I do that basically every day. Journaling really feeds my soul. Eating by 8 a.m. It's really important for me to eat a lot. Otherwise, I tend to get a little imbalanced and kind of in my head and fly away and get stressed and cranky and all that not so fun stuff. So eating is big for me. Um, reading totally nourishes me. Writing nourishes me. Socializing on Facebook totally nourishes me, and I can pay attention to just how much I'm doing that, and I don't want to have 20 of these checks. Everything in moderation, um, including moderation, of course, but um, it's awesome just to kind of see, like, well, that's really cool up to a certain point, and then it's not, right? We can spend so much time. ESPN down here, like, that's fun. I've already checked it out, know what's going on in the tournament, um, but, you know, I don't need to go there 20 times, right? Uh, Seneca, I'm going to do a PNTV episode on him. He says, Pleasures taken to the extreme become punishments, right? So one glass of wine might be nice, but two, three, four, five, really? It turns into from pleasure to punishment. Same thing um, for me with some of these things that I'm sure you have some of those stuff 
some of that stuff as well. So anyway, that's it. PNTV preparation and recording. That nourishes me. That's what I did a couple of this morning. Um, scrubbing my body. We're kind of nerds here. We like to skin brush. Um, taking a bath. That's totally awesome. Getting a massage is awesome. Massaging Alexandra is awesome. Having yummy sex. Oops. That's awesome. <laughs> Kissing Alexandra. Hanging out with Gay Hendrix, my friend and mentor. He's awesome. Um, meditating. I do a PM meditation. Alexandra and I um, are now doing transcendental meditation uh, in the morning and in the PM. We kind of mash up our AM meditation where we do Holosync and uh, our transcendental meditation. And uh, anyway, we do our PM meditation as well. That's been awesome. We, um, I don't think we've missed a day in like three or four months now, which is pretty cool. Ah, so there you go. And then um, getting offline with the sun. That's a big thing for me. If I want to rise with the sun, I've got to get offline with the sun. I've got to turn off to allow my rhythms to come um, the way that I like. Otherwise, I'm just wired up way too late. So that nourishes me. I get a checkbox when I do that. Eating a lot of greens, that's big. Eating a lot is important for me. Opening series of yoga, asana, just kind of um, simple movements. What do we got? Push-ups, those are fun. Squats and lunges, those are fun. Calf raises, those are fun. Uh, napitation, that's what I call napitation. Naps, meet, meditation, that's napitation. That's pretty cool. I do a lot of destiny um, meditation, guided meditation by Kelly Howell at brainsync.com. Google brainsync, S-Y-N-C, and destiny meditation. I've done it like probably 200 times. It's awesome. Kind of fall asleep while I do it. I love it. Stretching. Um, creating with Philosopher's Notes via email, chats with different people. I did an interview this morning that was awesome. So that nourishes my soul. Cat and dog stretch, eating by 6.30 p.m., hanging out with Alexandra, abs. And then I take acidophilus in the morning. I take vitamins, lots of water. I like to do strong determination, SD, in my meditation where I don't open my eyes, my hands, or my legs. Uh, that's basically what I do every morning. So I get a checkbox when I do that. Eating by 10.30 a.m., 1 p.m., um, just specific details that can help me uh, make sure I'm eating it plenty. Eating by the sunset, which is kind of redundant. This has kind of just grown, as you can see, organically. Recording my PNTV, doing a little hot, cold thing when I'm in the shower. So I like to, I forget what they even call that. What is that? Hey, babe, what's that called? What? When you turn on the shower and it's really cold and it gets really hot? Uh, <laughs> Hot, cold showers. There's a word for that. I don't remember it. Uh, watching a movie, that's a cool way for me to nourish myself. And again, I'm not going to do that every day or two a day or whatever, but that's a fun way to replenish. Chlorella, little green things we take, help alkalize. Um, strong determination of my PM meditation. Doing the dishes, even shaving. I only shave like once a week, so that's a fun thing to do. Uh, laundry, some other like stretching movements, walking. Uh, check an email and again, I don't need to do that 20 times during the day, but you know, do it a few times. It's awesome. And then using my strengths of creativity, hope and optimism, energy and enthusiasm, kindness and generosity, wisdom and courage. That's all fun stuff that I like to have in my consciousness. So the idea here is again, not to do all these things. I actually had a spreadsheet, an Excel spreadsheet with all these things and uh, stresses me out when I pretend like I've got to do all of them. You know, that's not what it's all about. For me, it's a game to see just how much can I get a little bit better today. And you know, one of the check boxes would be don't beat myself up if I'm not doing the things that I, I want to do. Like that's a negative step to criticize ourselves too much, right? We want to have a proper level of awareness of what we're doing and what we're not doing, but we don't need to lash ourselves, right? Um, so this is, uh, this is my whiteboard, kind of rambling, but there you go. Hope you enjoyed it. And um, let's make it fun. This whole process is supposed to be fun. We're getting better and better and growing and growing. And um, here's to celebrating that process. All right. Look forward to sharing more with you soon. If anything inspired you that you want to learn more about, let me know and I will record more. All right. Have an awesome day. See ya.